Maybe a controversial opinion, but I think Roman food is some of the best food in all of Italy. So I hopped on a train to Rome to do a food tour and show you exactly what I mean. This tour was of the Trastevere neighborhood in Rome, which is a super cute, lively neighborhood with tons of great bars and restaurants one of which is Da Enzo. Y'all, people start lining up to eat here hours before they open since they don't take reservations, but we just got to walk right in, that's the line. Rome is famous for artichokes, so we started off with fried artichokes and a fresh artichoke carpaccio. The artichokes were perfectly crispy and salty, and yes, you can eat all of it. We also enjoyed some fresh tomatoes with stracciatelle cheese, which was so creamy and paired perfectly together. From there, we hopped over to this restaurant built in an old synagogue with a cellar that used to be street level in 80 AD. They calculated that each stair you walk down is the equivalent of walking back in time 75 years. There was so much history here, which I'll do a separate video on, but we came here to try a type of pork stew that was rumored to be Julius Caesar's favorite dish. The chef was able to recreate the original recipe and oh my gosh, it was so flavorful. There was thyme, oregano, honey, red wine, vinegar, caraway, and celery seeds, apple, lavender, onion, pepper, olive oil, and salt. I know it doesn't look like much, but it was so flavorful. Then we snacked on both buffalo mozzarella, which is actually not from Rome, but they brought it in that morning and who am I to turn down fresh mozzarella? And maybe the best porchetta I have ever had. Porchetta is pork that is slow cooked in a certain style and it was so tender. The simplicity of just having it on top of that soft focaccia was incredible. Oh, and we have more wine. Next was my favorite street food from Rome, soupli, which are small deep fried rice balls typically filled with tomato and mozzarella and these did not disappoint. Paired with a classic Peroni beer and some simple marinara pizza, so fresh, no complaints. We were so full, but it was not done yet because you can't leave Rome without trying two of their most famous pasta dishes, amatriciana, which is tomato sauce with guanciale or pork cheek, and cacio e pepe, which is pasta with cacio e cheese and pepper. Of course, there's always room for dessert, so we ended with gelato. I got pistachio with panna or whipped cream on top, and it was the perfect way to end the day. If you're coming to Rome, you cannot miss this food tour. It is hands down the best way to eat your way through Rome and you will not be disappointed.